Welcome to another video from Right Start Mathematics. I have a treat for you today. We have a new game. It's called Multiplication Dump. And the name is kind of funny, but I'll show you in a minute here why it's called this. This is a new game written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter, and it's hosted by me. I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. This is actually a game that Lisa Campbell proposed to us, and we worked this out. And again, this is a really cool game. So our objective of this game is to practice our multiplication facts. Also to find multiplication factors, pretty much the same thing. The cards that we're gonna need are the multiplication cards, which I've shown here. You'll need about a fourth of the deck. You can use more, but it's gonna make the game go longer, which I think when you're starting out, just do a fourth of the deck. Then you'll also need the basic number cards shown here. You'll need about six of each number from one through 10. So even though the zeros are included in the deck, you're just gonna use one through 10. Two players, uh, Eileen is gonna help me play this game here today. The layout, both decks are gonna be shuffled and face down forming the stock. And then each player draws two multiplication cards and lays them face up in front of them and then they take five basic number cards for the cards that are gonna be in their hand. If a player runs out of the basic numbered cards, they take five more cards. So our object of the game is to collect the most basic number cards, which are gonna be the factors of our multiplication cards. So when we play, we're gonna start out like the traditional go to the dump game, we're gonna ask the other players for a needed card. If a card is received and I'm able to play the factors for a multiplication card, I lay those cards next to the multiplication card, recite the facts, and then the group is removed. If the requested card is not available, the player goes to the dump, which means they're getting another basic number card, and then lays down any cards if possible. Remember, more than two cards can be played with a multiplication card, and you'll see that as we go along here. So let's go play the game and see what we're looking at. So now I've got it set up here. It's a little bit hard to see with the camera, but this is my basic card deck. These are my multiplication decks. So each of us, and you go ahead and start, Eileen, take two cards and lay them down. So here's my two cards. Now, it doesn't matter if I lay mine here and put my basic number cards here, or if I move them over here and put them this way, it doesn't matter, it's more of a personal preference. I'm gonna lay mine here because this is how I tend to do it. Okay, we each get five cards. Okay. So here's our cards, so you can see them, but Eileen and I cannot see each other's cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I, what do I need for a 70? I'm gonna need a seven and a 10. So I've got my 10s, but I don't have a seven. This one's gonna need a seven and eight which I have neither. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and say, Eileen, do you have a seven? Ooh, she does. Now, if I lay these down, my turn is over. So I'm gonna, since it's a go to the dump game, I can ask one more card. So I'm gonna say, Eileen, do you have another seven? <gasps> do you have an eight? Oh, all right. Turn is seven and eight is 56. And then I've got, and I'm just gonna lay them over like this, off on the side. You guys can't see them anymore, but they're over there. So I'm gonna do seven. So it's 10 times seven is 70. I'm gonna pick up my cards and lay them. So each of these two gives me a point. And now my turn is over. Your turn. Do you have a four? I do. Do you have a three? Go to the dump. Okay. Now her turn is over, but again, if she can lay something down, go ahead. Five times four is 20. Yep. And again, she's scooting hers off to the side too. Can you do anything else? I'm done. Okay, all right, my turn. Eileen, do you have a one? Woohoo! <laughs> do you have a six? Go to the dump. Okay, I'm gonna lay these two down. So one times six is six. Pick these guys up. Oops, there we go. All right, my turn's over. Go ahead. Do you have a 10? There we go. 
Do you have an eight? Go to the dump. Ten times eight is eighty. Because you always want to keep two in front there. Do you have a six? Go to the dump. Do you have a eight? Go to the dump. Do you have, oh, this is actually why you want to pause because if I would have moved too quickly and said, do you have a nine and she hadn't figured it out yet, she'd have to give it to me. So actually waiting until they lay down or they say it's your turn is a better idea. Nine times two is 18, okay? Now, even if Eileen wanted to ask me if I had a card for this, because she laid down cards, her turn is over with. So my turn, do you have a three? Go to the dump. Do you have a 10? 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, do you have a, oh, a four? Go to the dump. Because I was going to do nine times four is 36. Your turn. Do you have a five? Go to the dump. Do you have a six? Do you have a four? Go to the dump. Do you have a nine? Do you have an eight? Nine times eight is 72. And her turn is over with. Okay, do you have a, boy, I really got installed here. Do you have a four? Go to the dump. Oops. Do you have a nine? Go to the dump. Do you have a four? Go to the dump. Oh, I got a four, so I can do four times six is 24, but I can also do it times one and one. Now you wanna be careful with the ones because like in Eileen's case over here, she wants, to, she could do nine times one, but since I don't have any right here, I'm gonna wager and now I get four points for my 24. And I get an extra card and my turn is over. So go ahead, do you have an eight? Go to the dump. Done. Okay. Uh, oh, you're ready to grab. Do you have a nine? Go to the dump. Do you have a nine? There we go. Nine times one is nine. So you see how this game keeps going. You can, there's multiple ways you can do, you can put these numbers together. Okay, Eileen, do you have a nine? No, go to the dump. Your turn. Do you have a four? Go to the dump. Oh, what do you have there? So you can say five times two is 10 times four makes 40. 40. Now go ahead and scoop up. So now she is out of cards, but remember, so go ahead and take an extra one here, but then remember we're not done playing. So she's going to take five more cards and we're going to continue playing. So that my friends is how we play the new game multiplication dump. I hope you all have a great time playing this game. Keep in touch. Let us know what you're thinking. And if you have a game that you'd like to see a recording of, let us know and we'll do what we can to help you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.